All right, y'all, before we start this video, we're going to do a 27 breath guided meditation. Let's go. But if you ever want to benefit from these guided meditations, like take a shower. You'll see much more results and much more like consistency in it than if you was to just come from inside or not cleanse your or a, a physical and then just go into a meditation. It's going to you're going to be a lot more like, you know, disconnected from the meditation, a.k.a. The source. All right, so we're gonna do 27 breaths. All right, we're gonna do a three breath warm up, and I want you to just relax. All right, three, two, go. Three, two, go. you know the rules we're gonna speed it up it's important to keep the pace but we're gonna slightly increase the momentum okay so let's go Shake it out, release it, higher, whatever you need to do. Now it's time to do it. Look, today's title of this video that we about to talk about right now, going depth about is, you know, like, I don't know, you know, some people will be like, I don't, I don't like him or her, but people who they like, like, what do they have? Like, like, what difference is it? Like, like, why, why is it a big deal for an individual who have no moral ethic? No type of integrity to even like before anyway. Like people don't understand that. Like, what are they really missing out on? You have to understand that. Like, because you have to understand, like, a person that's bitter will be like, oh, you're missing out on all of this and missing out on a lot. But most of the time, those people will be narcissists, very manipulative, controlling, very like, I'm talking stalker, creepy. Like, like there's no, there's no middle ground. There's no, there's no balance. There's no no type of uh structure if you get me like if you've been on a plane like those airplane pilots they have structure you can ensure that they go down a checklist no different than this one they have a checklist okay and that checklist <clears throat> on that checklist right hold on let me just fix this real quick on that checklist it ensures your safety okay so they have morals they have you feel me? Integrity, because they they go by that checklist every time. 
They're not putting your life at risk every time you take off because of like lack of discipline because they're not abiding by that checklist. Make sure everything is clear. I'm talking about air brake pressure. I'm talking about calibration. I'm talking about, man, shit that I don't even know the name of, but I'm sure they got to go off and cross that list. You feel me? Because there's a middle ground. So people be like, real quick, which takes me back to the last question. We took you back to what we were just talking about. People be like, real quick, oh, I don't like this person. You know, no, nothing I like about this person. They'll be making, they'll be quick to judge and, you know, outcast that person or castrate or whatever you want to view it as, right? I call it, I say those words because really they're like speaking bad on your name. So they're like castrating your name. They're trying to tarnish your name, your vibration. But you've been nothing but transmuting that energy into creating a better or a higher. That's why guys like, don't say nothing. I was like, shh, shh, shh. you know, because you don't need to say anything. You, you know what to do. When people try to put out low intent by touching you, you transmute all that. And then now they got to experience 10 times that. Every time somebody speaks ill on your name, they have to experience 10 times the backlash. That's why when you punch something, you, you experience a kickback. No different than guns. A kickback. Nice. A kickback. If you was to not utilize this with like proper technique, and you're going to experience a kickback, right? Because <laughs> you get 10 times the backlash. <laughs> I'm telling you, even science, even physics, even martial arts shows you this is true. That's why this is one of the laws you're going to experience. I ain't gonna tell you that at all. If y'all wanna check that out, like this video. Also, thank you guys for people who've been showing love, man. You guys are so awesome. I'm telling you guys, which is why I've been going in deep, releasing a lot of stuff so I can channel more information. I feel like we, the people who rightfully was drawn to this channel, rightfully drawn to this video, can elevate during this time. I'm telling y'all some shit that right now y'all need to know. All right, y'all? Because you gotta clear old wounds. You gotta clear those blockages in order to allow the new. So things from the past is definitely coming up. You know how before I would say they may be coming up? No, they definitely coming up. So things that bothered you five years, seven years from now, is coming up now. And you know how you say, oh, the past doesn't matter. Yes, the past does matter. The past matters greatly, dearly, because if, unless you heal those wounds from the past, you could never clear that cartilage, aka memory card, throw that shit never second blend, aka delete this store, undenounce. I mean, denounce, right? And then you can allow new shit to come into you. That is why every time you experience a breakup, you're going to experience a whole new relationship. A breakup is just a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, every time you close the door, you're going to open up a new one. You've seen the matrix. All right, so let's go back. So people, most people, they don't have any morals. They don't have any ethics. They, most people couldn't be an airplane pilot if you, because it's a checklist. There's certain duties that you have to fulfill. And if you're not fulfilling those, those duties, you put everyone lives at risk. So Think of it like this. I like to use that analogy because you're basically putting your life at risk in real time. Because if unless you you utilize the moment and you clear out shit, you're not gonna be in alignment to be able to ascend to this next, which does not require it, it just requires you to let go. That's really what it is. That's really all about it. That's why people that's why people like they speak bad on your name because you're not willing to conform to please others. You get what I'm saying? And you put yourself first. You know what that means, right? It means that you you practice self-love because you understand nobody's going to do for you but you at the end of the day. Of course, you know, the most high, but you have to feel that from within. You can't search without to experience that kind of reality. All the girls that try to search for that reality, they end up pregnant, single, alone, or undivorced, bitter, try to say, oh, man, Ross, you keep all the babies. Yeah. Like, they just, I'm saying there's some type of, like, unhealed wounds that connect with that that's keeping them from experiencing absolute bliss in this present moment, which everyone should be experiencing. I never wish any type of unhappiness, depression, or anybody, because that's constant pain that you're experiencing in this present moment, which you're not supposed to be experiencing. You're supposed to be experiencing heaven on earth, because, you know, right? But if you're not in that vibration and you're not healing and letting go old wounds and doing a karmic healing, right? The soul search and everything like that, because it all comes into play, right? Then you'll never be able to experience or you won't be able to experience happiness, heaven on earth in this moment. I'm not saying later on down a decade, five, 20 years from now. I'm not saying that because things change every decade. This is going to be like this for the next decade. But I'm saying in this moment, which sucks, you're going to be experiencing complete 
out of alignment, which is not good because only this present moment matters. The past matters. Why? Because it affects this present moment. So, 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 so the moment you go back and you fix the past, you can elevate this present moment. That's what it's all about. So the quickest way to cheat code to fix this present moment is to heal anything from the past. I guarantee this present moment will catch up instantly and stop going into the future. Stay out of the future. You're not supposed to be in the future. You're supposed to be healing the past so that way you can ascend in this present moment and that way you can create the future. You're not supposed to be in the future in the present moment holding on to the past. Like, what kind of shit is that? Niggas be like holding on to the past, trying to go into the future, never experiencing the present moment at all. Like, that's how you like, you know, and the fact that you you already on, you like, that's how you know some people will be like, I don't like you because you're not about to experience like depression. You're going to experience absolute heaven on earth in this present moment. And that's what you were meant to experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even do that, yo. All right? So if you guys watch the video to the end, like this video. That's how I know you watch it to the end because you like it. I yeah. Also, if you resonate with this, comment down below. Let me know. Just kind of write in a couple words. You ain't got to say anything at all. Just, and the more you be, you know, like vague with your shit, YouTube won't be on some weird type thing. Be like, yeah, we can't see the purpose. You'd be like, yo, uh, lit game. Uh, I be seeing truth. Like, just say it in vague little words. If you need to say something, use a different word because now they copyright those words and now they'll like remove your comment, hide your shit for years. If you do all, you know what I'm saying? Just make it easier. Just, we got to switch up our lingo. Cause they got adapted to the old way we were speaking and shit. So now it's a whole new type thing we say without. We don't even use full English sentences. You say, yo, you know, we just use words very vague. You just, just go into it, go out, you know what I'm saying? You just keep it, you know, running with that. As long as you can understand the meaning, like what you're trying to relay, get across, and that's all that matters. Did you get the message? It don't matter how you got the message and written in the whole, you know, 10 page paper and, you know, paragraph for, formation, how they do, they teach you in college, nah. Now it's about, did you get the message? However you can get the message over, that's all that matters. Shit. Hell, we, we call them, them niggas doing the same thing. They don't even use words. They use codes and all types of doo -doo 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 and bleakers, and they use mo multiple forms of communication. They use newspapers. Yes, the daily newspaper, they'll put codes in it that you don't even know, but once they see the newspaper, like, doo -doo -doo, they don't never speak on phones or nothing. They don't have phones by them. They don't got none of this shit. They don't got, you know what I'm saying? They speaking codes, you know what I'm saying? No, you ain't going to be able to find no proof. You ain't going to be able to dig up nothing at all. Like, it ain't going to be none of that because they don't got to say it in these English words They because they taught you to use it. That's why, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's all.